How's it going, guys? It's Pochi Set, and welcome back to the episode of the Carthage Campaign in Imperator Rome. It's a new day, a new recording session, um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started here with a little bit of fun stuff. Um, I think last time I was preparing for war with Turditania. How can I tell? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> what what would make you think it as such? Uh, no, yeah, clearly we were preparing for that. I actually forgot that, but then looked over. I was like, oh yeah, that's right, and it came back to me. So, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, let's go ahead and get ready. Get our troops all in positions. So, yeah. <clears throat> they put out a development diary today, actually, for the game. Um, which I took a look at, and I thought was pretty good, actually. They basically said in a few, in a month or two, they're gonna be releasing a big patch that should deal with a lot of the issues that I actually have with the, the release in its current state. So for instance, like tech, a lot of people said it's too easy to tech up and I actually kind of agree, although I don't think it's been a huge thing for us. Uh, but like if you, for instance, if you go to us and look at maybe like Sparta, a lot of times I think smaller countries can get way ahead, yeah. And I think that's a common sentiment. Um, but in any case, um, they also have a lot of they have a lot of other changes you can go see, but I'm not going to get into all of them. But uh, but I think that the the way they're planning to take the game is pretty good, making a little uh, I don't know. It seems like they're going to be adding mostly flavor and possibly like even regionalized variation in expansions that are going to come two the two times twice a year. Um, and if that's the case, I think that's pretty good. Um, but uh, and then most of the major game-changing features are actually going to be part of the free patches. And, and I think that's the way to do it. I think that is, that, that's pretty good. But I'm, I'm curious to see what they mean when they say, um, like, flavor versus major content or, like, major gameplay changes, right? Where do they draw the distinction? Because I... A lot of the stuff in EU4 is both of those at the same time, I would say. And so I'm, I'm a little curious about that. But uh, I, I do have some level of faith in, in Paradox. You know, I don't think that they're going to go all out in trying to um, trying to abuse their customers. Um, but I could be mistaken. And in any case, I, I think time will tell, you know. But, uh, but they also had some stuff for stability, for instance. I believe that your plan is to change stability from a minus 3 to 3 uh, scale to a 0 to 100 scale. Um, more like the... I think it's going to be more like um, some of the religious sliders in EU4. They're not really sliders, you don't get to slide them, but the um, scales, right? So like kind of in, like, uh, in EU4, if you're playing as a Sunni country, um, there's like a... Uh, a scale showing your legalism versus mysticism, that sort of thing. Or your, for instance, if you are a Buddhist country, um, actually, I, it might not just be Buddhist, um, it might also be Hindi, but there's like the, the karma. I, I'd actually remember. Um, but there's karma, you know, and that's something you want to keep balanced. So I think that there is, um, there's, some, there's some good systems I already have that are similar to that. Okay, we'll get Freeman for Oshika. Sure, why not? So right now, Utica is getting closer. Uh, Triplotani is getting closer. Hadramedum. We should be watching these so that we can start integrating them as soon as we can. Because again, there's no downside to doing that, to getting more than one at a time. I think at some point, what I, one thing I want to do is try to um, like vassalize Serenica. Serenica? I don't actually know how to say it. Kiranica? I don't know. Um, you can see Egypt is getting slowly but surely converted, uh, culturally. So, for instance, if we come down here, they, actually, that should be easier. They have a decent amount of pops, too. That would be good if we could get all those, you know? Like, they have some Carthaginians under their control, so, probably from colonizing, actually. But, um, one thing that is actually interesting is that the AI in some ways of this game seems like a lot less aggressive and, and which makes the game less difficult but in other ways the AI seems much more competent than in other games like they colonize a lot like they, they actually colonize uh, maybe not super quickly but I think that's just kind of how this game goes in general is that it's not quick 
Also, I'm sorry if you can hear banging from my upstairs neighbors. That has been that's something that I've uh, we dealt with my roommate and I like all year. So, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, let's see. So yeah, I mean colonization is actually one area where the AI seems pretty competent. Like they actually will be, they do colonize on their own. Um, so yeah, I mean there's a few cities here that uh, have decent population. And I feel like what we want to do is maybe try to vassalize them, because they are a monarchy, and thus we can do that. We don't actually have the range yet. Once we get Tripolitania, I'm assuming we will, so we'll see. Um, I hate these barbarians. Like, why is Tripolitania not attacking them? It's such, that's, that's annoying. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll try to do, is we'll try to go to for... Go for... Cyrenaica, Kiranaica. Um, try to vassalize them as a stepping stone against Egypt eventually, you know? Um, I don't know how long it'll be before we go to war with Egypt, but eventually we will. Oh gosh, I just realized Phrygia is actually down here. No wonder some of that cultural stuff is happening as well. Huh. That's strange. Um, Phrygia is going to be probably one of our late game contenders that we're going to have to deal with. Hmm... But other than that, I mean, yeah, yep. All right, cool. So I think that'll be a plan at some point. Uh, that is just a side point of beyond everything else we've been planning. Hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I'm waiting for Turditania to actually be out of this other, this other war. I think we our army maintenance is full, isn't it? Was it not? Yeah, I guess it wasn't. I wish this was a little more distinguishable to be able to tell which button the stuff was on. Uh, but that's okay. It's not a huge deal, I guess. Hmm. I also think, uh, you know what? It's probably the whole thing with us not being able to fabricate. Fabricate, yeah. Fabricate since they are not in range. That's actually probably the same reason that we couldn't... Um, we don't. It's not showing that we have any claims on people like up here. It's probably well. That seems like to be within naval range, though. Or does it literally mean like EO four, like one tile? Um, and I don't think we actually have one against these guys either. So I don't know. I don't know what the. Maybe they do have to be neighboring. That was my theory originally. So I I I really have no idea though. <clears throat> Man, Trotani is getting beat up. All right, civic advances have increased. <clears throat> National commerce, income, and stuff like that. Cool. Um, ooh, research points, actually, for in every category. That's pretty good. We should probably spend a little bit of time somewhere in the near future trying to get um, our, our props promoted. I, I was doing that a bit, but um, I did go... I did start importing... What was it? Glass that we needed or precious metals? This is what we would probably like to do. Mmm. Oritania has some. Interesting. Oritania. It's. Oritania is. Not here anymore. There's Oritania. Weird. Okay. Only two provinces, or two, two cities, you know. Um. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I mean. Yeah, I think we should work on promoting some citizens for better research so we can even get even better. Uh, I think we should focus on in our capital right now. would be good for that. So promote them to citizens. We actually don't have any that can be promoted, really. Oh, no, it's saying... <laughs> never mind. We can't promote citizens any higher, obviously. Yeah. Hmm. So, I mean, it's good to have a good mix, but I think, like... In our capital area, maybe we want to focus on more like the 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 citizens to get more research. That could be good. I don't think I care about spending a, a huge portion of my power for that. I'm gonna just keep some, but we don't also we have free claims on this area, so we don't actually have to be spending um, <clears throat> spending oratory power for claims here. I, I mean, eventually we will for other stuff, but we have a short amount of time where we aren't going to have to worry about that. It's so annoying that these guys are sitting here. Hmm. 
I mean, they aren't getting any progress, as you can see, but let's go over here. Hadramedum. Influence actions. I'd like to start integrating you. And Leptis Miner. Okay, 24 pops. Again, 24 for you, 18 for you, you know? Sure thing. Good, good little provinces. Or, you know, cities in that province. Sure thing. No biggie. Mm hmm. I'm waiting for this war with these two to be done, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of taken a while. Oh, gosh! Okay, never mind, it finished. And Celticia Minoris um, apparently was like, we're gonna take everything. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Um, hold on. So what is our goal for provinces? Which ones do we want to take? Well, I'd like to just basically take as many as I can. <laughs> But focusing on Bayetica, so first, uh, oh, wrong one. First, starting with, you know, Celticia, oh no, Bayetica Hispalensis, his, what is it? Hispalensis, yeah. Um, Mel Melicidia, you know, Tritania, Celticia Minoris, or not, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing, I'm looking at the countries. Oritania, that is that one. Bayetica Cordubensis, I guess that's where, like, Cordoba comes from. Tritania. Occidentalis, yeah, you know. Hmm. Yeah, I think first is connecting, first things first, we want to connect up our borders, right? So, uh, Viatica Gaditanis and Nes uh, Melicidia. Probably just take these just to, I don't know kind of consolidate those borders. Uh, and then these ones like right here are kind of like separate big chunks. Do we have claims on Kaunea? No, we, it's actually only giving us claims on, on some of these here. Uh, Do we not have a thing there? Um, why? Why does it say we're gonna lose two stability? Is that correct? No. Is it? If it is, that's gonna be very annoying. Um. So I guess we'll go for Bietica Gadatennis. Well, let's see. Hold on. Where's the most population at? It's actually not that populous. Um, yeah, maybe it's only stuff that we directly border already. Yeah, I think it is, which is very annoying. But if that's the case, one of these two. Uh, those two, I guess, uh, Bayetica got a tennis. Um, okay. Yeah, we're going to go to war. We're going to go to war with these mofos. Um, our troops are already at full maintenance. Okay. Okay, so let's go for Bietica Gatatanis. Uh, why? What? So why do we? Why does he say we have claims if that's not going to? It's kind of ridiculous that. <laughs> I think something is not right with the way this is calculating or something because it's basically like oh no you you can't declare war you um but then it's like we have the claims from that event it's kind of not cool uh and why can we only then fabricate on like why can't i you know what i don't know i i wish there was a way to see claims right there's no way to see claims you can see countries you have a cb on but you can't see Claims, I'm pretty sure. And that's like we... I don't know, it's it's weird the way it works. I'm, I'm not sure what to think about that. But I tell you what, that's okay. We'll fabricate claims. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate on uh, on this province that I have right here. I'm not going to worry about going all the way to Celticia Minoris. Because that's all the way up here, you know. We'll get there eventually. Let's focus on stuff that's a little closer for now. Uh, hoping to get back this land that is also already 
the right culture and stuff. So, all right. So let's go ahead and wait a month, and we are going to go to war with these guys. So, hmm. We have those integrations going. We're just waiting on them to finish. Utica is getting pretty close to being done. Okay. Um. So, sure. If that. Oh, now it's working. I guess you know what? Maybe it was just. Mm, maybe it was just that month waiting to take over. So, if that was the case, then I apologize. That was my bad. But there we go. Now we can do it. <clears throat> we have a lot of armies, but uh, we still got to be careful. We have some forts. We have one here, so they can't really go this way, but they could go this way if we let them. So let's be a little careful here. Um, they have no forts all the way up to here. Are you kidding me? That, that can't be right, is it? I mean, it, it seems to be the case that they have no forts. So, I mean, heck, I'm going to... I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago then. No, we'll just bum rush their capitals. That's the best way to deal with it, I think. Okay, so. Uh, uh, yeah, our fort there is actually already doing the work for us. Oh gosh, hello. They actually have an army there. Um, we did win that battle. I'm actually gonna send both of you together. You're probably gonna need, you might run into some armies along the way. Um, let's see here. What else? What else do we want to do? There's rebels. A migrant horde. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, whatever. Hmm. Alright, we can calm down an omen. I actually think aggressive expansion chain are good. Well, uh, I'm gonna do unrest again because that's been helpful in maintaining some stuff after we finish these wars. You know, maintaining peace. Internal peace. Um... Yeah. Alright, and I mean, we'll start... We're going up to the capital there. Other than that, I'm just going to start carpet sieging them, you know? Or something similar, at least. At the very least. Um, Because that's what you need. You need the province capitals to get... Uh, to basically, to get the, the provinces. Okay. Alright, the timer has gone off. Uh, we'll go a little longer though. We're doing pretty all right right now, I'd say. Yeah, we're enslaving population, which is actually pretty, pretty. Uh, I don't want to say nice, but like, it's gonna get us a lot of money long term. So that's good. <laughs> uh, anyways, do we still have any claims against you? By the way, we do. That's strange. Hmm. Again, I have no idea how this is actually working. Like. Um, uh, oh yeah, and so now, this is funny, now Celticia Minoris has the problems that Turditania had, where they, because they grew so strong, they don't have any allies that can defend them. And Turditania went back down to a point where now they can be in alliances with people again. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Alright. Mm-hmm, okay. Where does the province, or the region go up to? Pretty, pretty far up here, actually. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it goes here. Again, every province so far, we've basically been enslaving populations and sending them to Carthage. Wow, that's a lot of... That's a lot of slaves. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe we want to change that. I don't know if there's a penalty for having the risk be too high. Oh, there's actually a little bay here. Oh, that's cute. It's cute. Um, all right. Like, we're enslaving a lot of population here. All right, let's send you around there. Deal with those pirates. Um, meanwhile, we have... Can we start integrating when we're at war? Yeah, we can actually. Interesting. Start integrating them. Okay, cool. Actually, wait a minute. I just realized something. Are is there any chance that we could like? I was just thinking about something. I was like, the the fact that it said the Levantine minor power or the Levantine city state, right? I was like, is there any chance that we could like? possibly 
vassalize any of the people over here that are that are Canaanites. Sorry, I'm moving my mic around. Like and Phoenician, right? Like uh, like Sidon in South Phoenicia. Is there any way? Actually, yeah, is there any way we could do that? No, I just we're too we're just too far. Hmm. Okay. And the base value. Maybe when we get closer, we'll see about that. That could be interesting. All right. So you know we could actually don't do that. Um, we could actually go up here and blockade it. Well, no, we can't. It doesn't help because again, it's not a harbor. It would have literally no effect. Um. All right. Press onwards. Okay, sure, triple autonomy. I mean, eventually, pretty soon, sooner or later, you're going to be integrated, so not a huge boon, but still. I think this army I'm going to send to start just sieging back behind the front lines here. So Cordoba has actually been, been made the new capital. Oh, that's actually not great. Um, deception works for you. What about the other army? Skirmishing? Sure. Okay, cool. We're in battle. This one might be a little tougher, but um, they're about to reinforce. We're doing pretty all right, I would say. <laughs> yeah, actually, we're, we're doing fine. It's going to be a little rougher now that they've came in with the reinforcements. Okay. Yeah, like, look at all these. Bayello. Where's Bayello? So some of this stuff got sent there. That's weird. Why would some of the slaves be sent there? Oh gosh. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of moving population, I think. We did win that battle. Okay, nice. Okay, another game lag moment. Oh no, that was because of an election. Okay, that's different. Why was it at that point though? Hmm. Um, well, a 5788 religious faction is perfectly fine by me. Uh, yeah, not bad. Do we really only have one available dude? Do we not have, like, enough people in our empire or something? It's not really an empire yet. We're more like, this is like a kingdom level thing, but we're also not a kingdom, so. Uh, speaking of, though, I do want to see about trying to figure out how to become a kingdom. I think that would be fun. Uh, I, I think that could be fun. You get more ideas and stuff, more... I don't know, you, the, eh, hmm. Popularity is greater or equal to 90 is going to be not too bad, but the the populist faction thing is a little tough. The lifetime election shouldn't be too bad, but until we're ready to go, that might not be the greatest idea, because then we might get stuck with someone who's pretty bad. Okay, let's see here. We're waiting on this capital fort really, to peace out, but, um, uh, yeah, you know what, you guys are good, I mean, you're probably not good, you might get wrecked in a second, but, um, we're gonna get Cordova first, yeah, we, we out-tech them, that's our main advantage right now, you know, so, like, we won that, so, that's pretty good, um, see if you can chase them down, although I don't know really where they're going to, Um, natural manpower would be good. Uh, oh, barbarians. So, I want to try one of the other options this time. We can pay them off, but then they're just going to go to someone else. Um, <laughs> is there a way we can pay to settle them? I think there is, right? Okay. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, there's another separate army. Uh, these are mercs, though. This is what they're there for, right? They're they're meant to fight these types of battles. Um, I'm gonna wait till they get one province each, just to see if we can, that'll let us do it. Um, so I want to do this, this, that. Yep. No, I don't want to do that province there. I don't want to do that one either, actually. I would like to do that one. Yes, and then Minoris Oritania. There. This is all I want, I think. Um, 
I don't think I, I don't have a claim on Celt uh, Tertitania occidentalis, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, and all the rest are like a lot more aggressive expansions. So you can kind of see which ones you've claimed. Um, I think we take this. It's a good chunk of land. That's a lot of land, you know. Um, basically, it's not a doubling, but it's like an adding another 50% based on what we are currently have in Iberia. And it gets us up to the river here, basically. And has a lot of... Uh, gives us a lot more population. I mean, that's going to be a lot of good stuff. What is our population at currently? Oh, 3,097. Cool, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to peace out now. I don't really care to take any more than this in this war anyways, so I think this will be fine. Um, yeah, I didn't think they would be willing to do that. Let's see. How much are you willing to give me? That's the question. Oop. Somewhere in you here. Okay, so I think that works. So 3,097 was our population. Let's see how much population that was. If, all right. About, uh, what is that? I guess like 300. Pretty much like 300 population we just got. That's a good chunk, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so, we'll spread out now around our country. So, I mean, that's good. Let's go, yeah, let's just give it a second to spread out and everything. Um, we have gotten some more land that was actually, these two provinces were actually not of, uh, they were of our right religion and stuff already, right culture and religion. And I guess they never worried about trying to convert it, so. Yeah, not bad. Um, let's see. The, some of our capitals moved around. And we definitely want to build some more forts to kind of deal with this stuff. Um, that's probably going to be where that, fort, that capital stays. Hmm, where do we want to build forts? Probably like one right here or here somewhere. That would cover a lot of that area. There'll still be a gap here. We should probably do one over here as well, though. Like in this province of Hispalis. I don't think there's a straight crossing there, is there? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do... We have one down here. Build one over here somewhere. Ooh, like right there. Yeah, so why don't we build one... A lot of this is like farmlands and stuff. Let's build a... Build a fortress there. Um, have one there. We might build another one at some point as well. But I think we build one here for now. Okay. That's good. Uh, what we start want to start doing is cultural simulation. Cultural simulation. Cultural simulation. Everywhere. Cultural simulation. Okay. And there we go. Uh, yeah, so barbarians. I wanted to see. So I can create a client of you. Huh. Devil your reputation, potential strength, occupy our cities, present in our country. So I want to see what happens. So occupy our cities actually gives it a, additional positive. So if we let them settle... Well, what does that actually do, right? So then occupying stuff only raises unrest, and that's not a big deal. So let's wait and see what else happens. Oh, also, our name is probably bigger, right? Yeah, it's a little bigger. Because we are land, so I'll connect you now. Um, once we get Tripletani, our name will get even bigger, you know? That's obviously the most important part. Oh, Utica, by the way, got <clears throat> integrated. A couple decent provinces, or uh, cities there. Um, Massilia. That's, uh, I think your time is getting a little closer. Okay, so yeah, they, it just decreases our civilization value. So why don't we try to settle them? What does that actually do? We give them a right to settle in those two cities. We get three free pops. It impact, impacts the cultural makeup, but I mean, sure, man. I Yeah, see, look, that's kind of cool. You can just get free pops this way. Uh, I mean, they're not the right 
culture, but we're working on that anyway, so that's not a huge deal. Um, so that's that's pretty good, I think. Um, I think that's pretty good. We just, I mean, it's free population. You know, I, I don't mind that. I certainly don't mind that. Um, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Probably better than spending a lot of manpower to fight them. Although I, I don't mind it too much. Uh, what else do we got here? We could do a quick little war. Do we have a claim on you as well? We do. Maybe we want to go in here real quick, try to beat up um, Eberania and Tritania real quick. That could be nice, just kind of solidify the, that one province, but I don't know. I'm also not too worried about it. Hmm... Alright, I'm going to go wrap up this episode here, so thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more. I've enjoyed playing this game a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.